Okay, so 60% of all commerce customers are frustrated by irrelevant results according to retail touch points. And if you remember, I actually created a blog not too long ago, actually last week, and I highlighted how natural language search works across some of the major sites out there like Amazon, eBay, Walmart. And I basically concluded that they all do it fairly well uh, to some extent. And what I've noticed though, is once you start to stretch it a little bit with some more natural language, things start to fall apart. Um, but if you recall this article, you know, I had a nine point grading system and Interestingly enough, Dick's Sporting Goods ended up being the highest rated uh, site with regard to natural language search uh, across the board. So I got challenged to maybe do a little bit more difficult uh, natural language sentence uh, for these different sites. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out, not only on the sites that I tried before, but a few other very popular ones. And if you could see here, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, sentence, young girls, blue dress shoes, under $20. And let's, let's see what this does. But let's first look at the sentence. So there's some things that the natural language processor is going to have to take into account. First of all, we have young, and then we have girls, and then we've got a color blue. And now we, now we have dress. Now this could get confusing because a dress is something you, know, you wear on your body um, and it's attire, uh, but we're actually talking about dress shoes. So this will add a, a little complexity to the actual query, just like the blue backpack. Um, and then of course we have under, under $20. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to use this sentence across all the different sites and we're just going to see what it does. So we could see Amazon and it clearly looks like it's definitely got the young. It's under 20. We've got $19, etc. We've got a lot of blue in here. This is actually pretty good. I mean, uh, very, very impressed with the results are, I mean, a lot of blue dress shoes uh, that are clearly for young girls. So very good Amazon. Um, this one here obviously is a sock, but you know, let's see what we go to next. So you'll notice on the second page, we start getting blue dress. So, you know, it's, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And then, and then there's another dress and there's another dress. So the results on the first page are, are pretty accurate. And I'm sure as you go to the second, third, and fourth page, they're probably going to get uh, a little more skewed. So if we look at Walmart, I actually had a query in there before. We could see young blue girls, blue dress shoes under 20. You can see they're all under 20. We do have some blue in there, but yeah, there's not a lot of blue. There's some blue, but this is, you can see that this is not as good as Amazon. Um, it's close, it's shoes, it's young, and there's a lot of blue. But, you know, even if there are facets for other blues, you know, they, they really should modify their engine to, to show the blue skew in, in the results. So like this croc is showing a purple shoe and they clearly have a blue croc there uh, that could have been the, the, the facing element. So let's go over to uh, eBay, another very popular site for shoppers. And you can see that's actually pretty good. Um, you know, they're clearly dress shoes, actually 
very dressy. So this that's another interesting thing about the Walmart. You'll notice that these shoes here weren't really dressy. Amazon had some fairly dressy shoes on their page. And when we look at eBay, I mean, these are very dressy shoes. Um, clearly something, um, you know, mark for, for dresses. But you'll notice one thing. These are over $20. So eBay is now showing us shoes for over $20. And in some case, they're even showing photos for $175, uh, which is strange. So this is not the greatest results. I mean, we're getting country music. I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff here. There are some blue dress shoes, but I haven't actually seen any. Actually, these are the only two under $20. So... So they're missing a big piece of this sentence, um, which is the under twenty dollars. But they do they do a pretty good job on the on the shoes uh, and and the dress part. So let's try Target. So we have shoes. Um, they're not very blue. Not, not many blue skews on the front. Um, they are kind of dressy, I guess. But I, this, this is not what I would expect, to be honest. I would expect a little more blue, a little more dressy. Uh, the good news is, is they are all under $20. So you can see that each one of these sites does either something really, really well or not so well. It's not horrible, it's not bad, uh, but it's certainly not what I expect. And this is not what I expect. I don't see a lot of blue at all. They're not very dressy. And that, that to me is not the best experience. Now, one of the sites I'm gonna try is just Google. Because believe it or not, most of my searches start with Google. I, I go out there, I see, what um, what I can do as far as searching and, and what I can find. And then if I'm shopping, I go over to the shopping tab. And you can see here, young girls, blue dress shoes under $20. Uh, the price is right. They are blue, a lot of blue, fairly dressy. There are a lot of non-blues in here. Um, here's some really dressy bluey bluish shoes that are pretty good. So, you know, I would say this is not bad at all, especially since it's not really an e-commerce site. Uh, but you know, Google, they do some, some pretty good stuff and this is not that bad. It's not the best. It's not as good as Amazon as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but it is shoes. They are dressy. And they all appear to be under $20, which is very close to what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to go over to uh, JCPenney, which is a very popular site for moms and dads to buy children's clothes. And I'm going to go ahead and search here. And this is not good. So it's clearly not combining the dress shoes together. Um, I am getting blue dresses. I do have some blue shoes here from Elsa, which is the movie Frozen from Disney, one of my favorite movies. But you can see this is... This is this would be a horrible experience, and this is this is a bad, this is a big problem for a natural language search. So if I was attempting to do this over a device or Siri or something on the JCPenney site, I, I don't think I would find what I'm looking for. 
and that's a shame because I shop a lot at uh, at JC Penney's. So I'm gonna try Zappos. So, first of all, there's 5,672 items found, and unfortunately, the very first items are not shoes. I don't even know. I guess those. I guess that is a dress. Yeah, those are dresses. Um, but these kind of look like sneakers, not so much dress shoes. Maybe, maybe Zappos doesn't have dress shoes. And you can see we have a lot of dresses. So, so this is clearly getting confused with the, the word dress and blue and shoes combined. And I would argue that they probably don't even have natural language inside the site uh, enabled. Uh, because it's just missing the, the mark. So once again, this is a level of frustration that customers are seeing uh, as referenced by the first article. So now let's go ahead and, and try Sears. You know, another popular site amongst moms and dads shopping for their kids. And and, and that's not a good result. So this, you know, I do see some shoes in there. Uh, I don't even know what this is. This is like clothes for a doll. Um, the shoes are above $20. So, you know, I, obviously this is not set up for natural language search. So, you know, when we talk about competing with Amazon and and online and and bringing in the brick and mortar uh, experience and getting customers to find your products very easily and as things move more and more to you know using voice to do things um, you know like shopping from your Google device or your Amazon device right from within your house or you know Siri on the iPhone, you know, this is the kind of stuff that's really going to matter because when people speak into the device, they're using their natural language. They're not thinking about speaking like a traditional search bar experience where, you know, you're just typing in keywords. Uh, it, they, they say things like, Siri, find me where I can buy blue dress shoes under $20. And Siri would take that, it would process it, and it would search for it across either the internet or a particular site that you even mentioned. So I think this is, uh, I, I decided to do a video this time instead of a blog, um, a little bit different, but I think if you go and look at an article like the one out on retail touch points here and, and kind of dive on it, you know, you could see, you know, 82% of people only search online to buy a specific item. However, nearly half, 47% of the shoppers without a specific purchase in mindset um, start their journey on Amazon. And as I just showed you, the, the Amazon search experience was actually one of the better experiences across all of these sites. So, and you, and, and this is why Amazon uh, does good things because they have, you know, a fairly positive experience. So uh, that's it. I, I hope you like this video. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a like and any feedback is, is welcome. And thank you for watching.